my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the great outdoors. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Lynch of McGuanago, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Suzuki, Wings Over Wisconsin, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Kamik Law Firm, Kamalon Measuring Tools, Vexlar, Deep Freeze, Cold Snap, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Hey, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Hey, this morning we're gonna be fishing up here at Port Washington and we're actually not even gonna be in the boat today. We're gonna to be fishing off ashore and we're fishing with our good friend, Brian Settling. Brian, yep. you know what Brad just said? He said that I look short compared to you. You know what, and you asked me for a step ladder. You know what, I, I don't think that uh, <laughs> that's very nice to start the morning off. Well, hey, <laughs> besides that, tell us what, what's going on today. We're gonna be fishing up here in uh, Port Washington for uh, Chinook salmon and, and brown trout. Okay. And, uh, and coho is also. The fishing up here has been phenomenal the last week. Yeah, a lot you've of been big sending fish. me pictures and yeah, killing me, yeah. right? Oh yeah, it's just been crazy, crazy good. The only one factor is now we got a lot of rain the yep. last few days, so it's gonna push a lot of these fish in. So it should be an awesome day of fishing. And we're gonna be actually yeah. fishing off a shore and there's gonna be actually quite a few guys around us too, or people around us, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's the only downfall. There is quite a few guys. That's so okay, it's, it's like, nice yeah. conversation and stuff yeah. like that. So we should see a lot of fish caught today. Oh, we're gonna see a ton of fish caught today. You wow, yeah. and what kind of techniques are we gonna be using today? I, you know, you told me don't bring any rods, don't bring anything, I got it all. Yep, yeah, I have everything. Um, um, basically, we're going to be uh, casting crankbaits, uh, spoons, okay. uh, we're going to be uh, fishing skein, uh, spawn sacks, and the skein is salmon eggs, uh, right. Chinook salmon eggs. So we're going to be using a little bit of everything. And you said and something about catching some bait too over here? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, also, alewives, been catching quite a few fish on the alewives too. Okay, so it's, so it's going to be a wide variety of uh, baits that we're going to be using in techniques today too, huh? Yep, yeah. And you know, it switches from day to day what these fish want. So, you know, it's like one day you're getting them on uh, spawn or yep. brown spawn or chinook salmon spawn or alewives. So you got to switch it up. So if something's not working, switch it up make little uh, minor changes and we should catch a ton of fish today. Well, that sounds good, man. Let's go get them. All right, that sounds go get good. Em. Hey, stay tuned. Let's see what happens today here up at Port Washington with our good friend, Brian Settling. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, Warrior Boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and Hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. Kalins has been catching multi-species fish for over 30 years. From our crappy grubs, to our seismic series of hybrid swim baits and grubs, to our jerk minnows. You can't see that jerk minnow, can no, you? He is. To our garlic and salt impregnated wacko worm. Oh, that's a Kalen's wacko. Our premium line of Kalen jig heads. Oh, and our original Kalen's grub still does a pretty good job too. Fish, look at that Kalen's in her mouth right there. Wings over Wisconsin a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, 
preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. The glow in the dark, so I'm going to charge that sucker up real good. My light. Look at that. Swim bait out there. Give that a cast out there. Try that a little deeper, too. It's like a ghost spread. Woo! Coming to get you. What was that on? Live bait? Uh, that was on an AOI. Literally. Okay. Maybe this got bigger than what I thought he is. Really? Pretty good fighter. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, brownie. Brownie? The fish. There you go. Nice. The settler scores. I can't believe that's the first fish we've seen caught, too. Yeah. yeah. There Are go. you kidding me? What is going on here? Settler? God darn it. Oh, Ooh, there you go. Double. Got him, Larry? Got him. Double, double. yeah. Oh, That's a good fish, too. And you have uh, a fish coming down if it goes down early. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. We were here for about a half hour. And there's quite a few guys here we never saw a fish caught, and then all of a sudden, Brian caught that one, and all of a sudden, game on. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Oh, hold on, hold on my hook. That's a little bit bigger. Well, you can tell how dirty that water got, too, yeah, with all the bunch. rain. A couple days ago, it was really clear in here. Forget that casting, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, that's what I was saying, that right. live, live bait. Now, what kind is this yeah. one? That's a... Uh, that's a brown. That's a brown too. That's what I thought it was. But it's a, why is it so dark? Uh, that's uh, uh, cause it's like getting ready to spawn. Okay. When they, they spawn, they change color. Pretty fish. There you go. Nice. nice fish. Now that kind you let go, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. These are the ones I, I let go. Interesting. Cause uh, the flesh on these is going to be that pale color. Right. No, it's a brown trout. They only live to be four or five years old? Or uh, actually, how does that go uh, they, on I, I was told uh, they can live up to eight years old. Is okay. What, uh, so you so know, you're saying this fish will go back out until the, when he's done spawning, go back out? Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. All right, nice fish. I'll see you. Boy, is his mouth all tore up too. Boy, that's awesome. If I can hang on to him. <laughs> You're right about that, just they come through in streaks. Another brown? Yeah, another little brown. Holy moly, this is no brown, is it? Uh, it could be a bigger brown. Big brown? Oh, yeah. Brian, you got this bite dialed in big time. Oh. This is awesome fishing. I'm loving this. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'll grab that net. There it is. Oh, oh. Carp. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Oh, carp. Brian, you didn't tell me I was getting into this. Oh, watch that rod. Yeah, watch I, that rod. Yeah, yeah. It's oh. a $300 rod. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Really? A carp. <laughs> Only I would catch a carp fishing for. No, there was one funnier yesterday. There was? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I'm a firm believer in catch and release. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Did you see that? Look at that. You, you think there's some bait down there? <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> He's trying to catch bait before and he didn't think there was any down there. Oh my gosh. Patrick, what are you doing out here? Mark, I'm going fishing this weekend, but with this massive selection of trucks, I can't figure out which one to take. The brand new Lynch Maguanago stores have a massive selection of brand new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram trucks, cars, vans, and SUVs. Make your next stop at the all-new state-of-the-art Lynch Maguanago dealerships today. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. From the equipment we use to the clothing we wear, the developments of modern ice fishing technology only serves to make the time we spend on the ice with our friends and family more enjoyable. And there's one product that has stood the test of time for over 30 years, and that's Vexilog, the most trusted name in sonar. Three generations of ice anglers have been using Vexilar technology, and Vexilar continues to earn the respect of anglers all across the ice belt. Time to create your own memories. Visit Vexilar.com. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig, or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. I'll tell you what, this is the first one on the skein. It feels like a, it better not be a carp, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, or a catfish. Or a catfish. It's got a, about a 15 pound channel catfish. Wow. Right Ooh, that's a nice fish. Holy cats. Look at that thing. <laughs> that was on that skein. Yep, told ya. Oh, oh yeah, nice silver cow. chinny. Nice oh, silver chinny. That's chill. a nice fish. That is like pure power. That thing just nailed it pretty good. It too. did. It, boom, boom. Just like you yeah. said. Oh, now you had to tick her off. Coming your way, guys. That's a nice fish. That's a nice female. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Right. Look at that size of that one. <laughs> There's a probably a 20 yeah maybe that's, eight that's a yeah. nice fish 17 i'd Pretty say fish 17 cool. wow. 18. it's getting quite the crowd a smoker that's a smoker hold that one up right look at that size of that one <laughs> that's a probably that kind of 18 like 19 in there yeah, them things are just yeah. sheer power. That is absolutely awesome. You know, talk about not being able to do much with a fish. Yeah, all you can do is just play them out until they get tired. And, and you got an eight pound test on here. Eight too. pound line, yep. 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 A big fish? Yep. Good fish. Yeah, I'm going to get this. Well, the bait's even gone on this yep. one. Got it. Yeah, it's something to slam that one, too. I better watch mine. Let me know when it gets closer. Uh, I think down we got just, another Chinook, Larry. Guy down there just caught one, too. Yep. So it's kind of like goes in streaks. Yeah, it's like I was saying, you know, these fish kind of move through and stuff. Yep. And another one on the world's first fishing oh. rod made out of graphene, the G-Rod. Yeah, that G-Rod, boy, I'll tell you, that is an awesome. Yeah, this is not our big fish. It is a big one. Just look though. at that rod bent. Fish coming down in front of you. There 
Oh, oh there it is. Yeah, look at that nice fish. Look Not as big as mine, female. for sure. I hope I don't fudge this with the net, Brian. I hope not either. <laughs> this ain't a little walleye. I've had a couple times. Right. Once you, yeah, you I'm fudged not the, it with the net. Right. I'm good at fudging it with the net. No pancaking. No pancaking. There it is. Nice female. Look at the size of that wow. fish. You need another about 30 feet on this net, Brian. Maybe I could get that fish. Jeez. Can't believe the size of these fish. Okay, go put put the put the net down underneath. There you go. Got it. There you oh, go. There you go. Straight 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 up this way. Straight up that. Yep. There you go. That's a long way down, Brian. Yeah, it is. Look at the size of that one. That's Another nice, nice female. Fish. Wow. I would say this one's probably in that 15, 16 pound range. Right. Not quite as big as the one I caught. But no. You're right. Still no, a nice no, fish. No, yours is bigger so right. far. So wow. far. Wow. What a ball. Nice job. Thank nice you. Job. Hey, Shotgun Steve Schaefer in the kitchen. It's football season. I have, if you look on the website for LarrySmithOutdoors.com, this is my venison meatballs. I already prepared them, rolled them up. I am going to cut an onion up, put the meatball inside, wrap them in bacon, and put them in the oven. And seriously, people, if this is out of control. My buddy Don Kalinowski from school already sent me a picture of the meatballs. He made his kid so mad at school because he made them, and he was off to college. He couldn't taste them. So what you do is you... Peel the outside layer off, cut your onion down halfway like that. Try to get the layers off one at a time. This is the hard part here. Don't break, only if you break them, you just gotta do a little more work in the later on part of this meal. But this is a Vidalia sweet onion. And like I say, go on the website and these meatballs are what I'm using, they're venison. I ground them up already, got them all prepared. Use the seasoning in them. I'm gonna make like uh, five, six of them or so. Just shove the meatball inside of them. See now the onion's too big. Just take and cut the excess off. Throw that off to the side. Take your bacon. Let me get this out of the way so you guys can see. Take your bacon, put the fattest part down. Put your seam down. Pull it over. Roll it over real nice until it's overlapped. And then turn it. Come around to hold your ends on. You can use skewers, I'm using toothpicks. Just remember though, when you serve them up, pull the toothpicks out or tell your people at your parties that there's toothpicks in them. Let's go one more time, and then I'll prep them while we're getting ready here. Let's see, two, four, six, seven, all rolled up, ready to go to put in the oven. I have the oven set at 400 degrees. Anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. All depends on how thick the bacon is. It might even go a half hour. You just have to watch your bacon. You want to get it nice and crispy. The meatball will be cooked. I'm going to put this on the aluminum foil here, put it on the cookie sheet. The only reason I did that, so you don't stick to the pan and I don't have to do so much work later on cleaning up the kitchen. That's yeah, our finished product. Look at them things. What I did was I took some brown mustard, sriracha, a little honey. Uh, uh, honey. I'm going to glaze it a little bit here. Let's dig in and see what this smell, smells and tastes like. It smells awesome right now. Oh, my meatball, look at that. How juicy that meatball is. Oh my God, you guys. This ain't gonna last long at a party. In the kitchen of Shotgun Schaefer, bacon wrapped, meatballs and onions. Football season, go pack. Subscribe now to never miss an issue of the Badger Sportsman magazine. This issue features Green Bay Packer Jeff Janis. Along with great celebrity profiles, you'll find everything you need to know to have fun and be successful outdoors in Wisconsin. For availability in your area and subscription information, check out badgersportsman.com today.
With ice fishing just around the corner, it's time to gear up. Check out the new Pro Skimmer by Deep Freeze. Offered in 6-inch, 8-inch, and 10-inch models. The fastest ice skimmer on the market. And once you're ready for those tip-ups, don't forget about Blue Tips. The first tip-up alert system sent straight to your smartphone. Free app available on Android and iOS. Check out these and other products at deepfreezefishing.com or any of your favorite retailers. Absolutely throttled it. Hammered that it. That huh? scheme, yeah. yeah. If I went to add a rod in my hand, probably would have lost the rod. Oh, like that other one you missed. Yeah, he just he that thing. <laughs> yeah, I had a, a decent fight before that, just a little while before that. I can't believe it's back on that scheme. Yeah, that's what they want, you know. This yep. time of year, that's one of the key baits. I thought the bite was over for the Oh, oh nice there. fish. Yeah. Nice fish. Yeah, look at that reel go. That's a nice fish. Hey ladies, you brought us some luck. Hey! <laughs> there he is. Wow. Yeah, look at the size. That's another nice one. That is so cool. Look at this. That is so cool. <laughs> Almost. It almost makes me think that that fish somehow got a sun drop down there. Little bit, lift her up, lift her up, lift her up. God darn it. Now we got him. Oh, nice. Hey. Hey. All right. Nice. Holy oh, man. <laughs> nice female Chinook salmon. Wow. That was fun, I'll tell you. For a guy that gets the fish every day in mostly walleyes and muskies to be able to come and fish salmon, this is definitely an awesome day. Oh, look at the size of that brown hole. Wow, that thing's got to be about 20. It's that big? Yeah, it looks like about probably, yeah. You're pretty good at judging. Yeah. It seems like the bulk of our fish, the bigger ones, have come off that skein for sure. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, definitely by far. Look out, guys. Look out. Go deep underneath. Oh, 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 hold on. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so, yeah, just, no, it's just kind of slow. Go, go slow underneath it. Go slow underneath oh. it. I'll bring it. There oh, you go. Look at nice the size job. of that. <laughs> wow. Look at the size of That's that brown. pink right there. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you, talk about having some fun. This morning has been an absolutely ball here. Beautiful fish. That is, this, look at that. Awesome. Is, look at the colors on it. Just that, an awesome fish. That is absolutely awesome. Hey, Brian. Absolutely fantastic time today again with you. You know, them salmon, I'm not used to catching salmon, but I'll tell you, I'm hooked. After last time out in the boat casting for them salmon all night long, what a fantastic time. In this situation down here, I did not think it was gonna be that much fun. This, it was a ball. And I'll tell you, I caught a lot of fish, you caught a lot of fish. 
and you know it seemed like everybody else did pretty good too you know and it was kind of nice because everybody that was coming by a lot of good conversation today and just you know it was a nice atmosphere and i'll tell you you know i'll definitely come back and do this again with you for sure you know when it comes to fishing these parts you know these lakes that you fish the great lakes and the inland stuff you know what's your favorite well, by far, you know, it's like the trout and salmon fishing yep. is, is some of my favorite. The jigging, the casting, um, you know, the, the skiing uh, fishing, um, and then, you know, the walleye fishing. I walleye fish all over the state, you know, pretty much multi-species, you know, I like to fish for everything, you know. Right, and I kind of always think of you as more of a salmon guy, but you are definitely a multi-species guy. Well, yeah, and, 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 and that's the thing, a lot of people think that I just strictly fish trout and salmon, which I don't, you know. Well, so. you know a lot about trout and salmon, I'll tell oh, you that. Oh, yeah, I know a few things, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we had an absolutely great time here, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm hoping that we can get up and fish the Chippewa Flowage with you, too. I know you've got a pretty good bite going up there for crappies and, and walleyes and muskies, so hopefully yep. the weather holds out and before the fall's up, we can get up there and, and fish some of that with you, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's some phenomenal fishing up there. You know, there are so many lakes up there in northwestern Wisconsin that are just absolutely untouched, and it's just some awesome fishing and quality. I mean, quality, right. quality fishing up there, so. Hey, if people want to get a hold of you and come out and do some fishing with you, tell them how they need to do it. Okay, they can either uh, get a hold of me through uh, the website at witrout.com. Otherwise, uh, I can be reached at 414-559-9238. Awesome. Hey, you know, I hope everybody enjoys our show, and I'll tell you, like I always say, just remember, it's a great day to be alive. Yes, it is. Hey, Larry, you look really short. <laughs> you want a step stool? I ain't going to get you. Hey, Larry, you should just take a jump, uh, jump in and see how many hail wives go. I don't know about jumping in here. You know, I would, but if you look over there, it says on the concrete, no swimming. No swimming. Yeah. By the time I get this in, ladies, you're going to be late for lunch. Lunchtime. Yeah. <laughs> say it beats, uh, happy hour. This might be going into our live weekly feed. Right. I'm going to have to buy more airtime. This morning, I felt that you were a little bit taller than me. But I think them salmon kind of stretched me out a little bit. No, no, look at that. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Yep. Hey, in, oh my God. <laughs> All right. There we go. Now you're up. No, I'm left. done. <laughs>